Hello and welcome to the Hive Mapper Network. My name is Alex and today we'll be going over the Hive Mapper Explore dashboard. Um, the dashboard displays the most critical metrics such as number of contributors, transactions, unique kilometers mapped, just to name a few. What you're going to do to get started is look up hivemapper.com. For this example, we'll already have it pulled up. What you're going to click on is the Explorer tab on the top right here. You'll be prompted with this intuitive dashboard. Um, what we're going to focus on first is the Contributors tab. Uh, one of the most critical features on the dashboard is the Contributor Analytics section. Here you can see a detailed information about specific users, such as unique road kilometers mapped, total tokens earned, and a graph to better convey the data. Uh, to better look up a contributor, specifically for Mac, you can put command. You can press Command F or um, Windows key control F for a PC, Windows PC. Um, the search bar should pop up on the top right. For this example, I'll show a sample account. So here we can see, just by clicking a few words, I can find mine. Boom, populate this on the right. Now, what, is, what, is, what, what does this all mean? So on the left, you see the total tokens earned. On the right, the total coverage mapped by the user. And at the bottom, we have all the different uploads he's made. So in the last two hours, um, if you have done QAing, um, the QA would happen right here, all the metrics around that. Cool. But yeah, this is where you can see specific contributors. In the future, there'll be a way to just quickly search up your name up here. Um, but that feature is in the development. Now let's focus on the transactions. So if you ever wonder what any of these mean, you can just hover over the I and it'll give you a quick one, two sentence breakdown. Um, but yeah, let's click on transactions. Boom. So the next section of the dashboard is the transaction history. Here you can see all the transactions that have taken place on our platform. You can filter the transaction by date, time, type, and other criteria. This information is critical for accounting purposes and it helps you track all the transactions that have taken place. So if you're ever wondering, you can also copy paste the transaction. Um, and you also see a graph depicting time over amount of total network transactions. Um, if that data is useful to you, this is a wonderful place to get that from. So we're gonna go back to the Explorer and we're gonna focus on the unique kilometers mapped. Boom. Awesome. So in this section, you can see the progression of the unique road kilometers our contributors have mapped since launch. Uh, this is useful in the sense of getting an understanding of where we are as a community. Uh, Hive Mapper prides itself on basically having a wonderful community that maps everywhere. If you zoom out, you can see all the different places we're mapping, um, all these pink hexes. That's what they mean. Um, but yeah. It, it's a good, useful graph um, if you're ever wondering what the progression of, of the project is looking like. So what we're going to focus on right now is the Regions tab. This is a very important tab as it has a lot of information, so bear with me. Um, there will be a separate video for explaining Regions within the dashboard um, in a little bit more detail. Awesome. So to begin, I'm... Um, this number on the tab is a total number of defined regions. So 454 regions, defined regions at this time. Um, and we're constantly adding and removing depending on activity and, um, and, and what, what, what's the need of the map as a whole. Um, but yeah, we have uh, map improvement proposals where we have more information around the regions um, in greater detail. Um, also on the website hivemapper.com. But yeah, uh, in the regions, you can see the region name, the contributors within the region, the total kilometers for a given region, um, the kilometers mapped by contributors, the weight of the region. Now, what does weight mean? So based on the website, uh, weight considers various factors to approximate a value of a region relative to others. So it would be 
in comparison to other regions. Um, also, we have a wonderful blog post and um, an FAQ and a how it works documentation guide that explains each and every attribute of this in further detail. And finally, it has the progress of the region. Um, so it's basically how well a given re region is performing uh, via map coverage, activity, and resilience, which are our current metrics um, in terms of earnings. For more information about, again, about these regions um, and how they influence your rewards, you can visit docs.hivemapper.com. Again, that's docs, period, hivemapper.com and hover down to the individual reward factor section, and you'll find all the amazing features and information around regions, progress, weights, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, um, we're getting closer to the end of this. So let's go back to the Explorer page. Um, but yeah, in conclusion, this dashboard is an essential tool for managing and monitoring the platform. It provides critical information about users, transactions, and regions. Um, I hope this quick walkthrough is helpful. Um, I know a lot of the information can be daunting, but if you have any questions, pop in the Discord, drop it and ask a question, or email us at hi at hivemapper.com. And finally, visit our website. I think it's, it's a great resource to get started. Um, if you have any questions, we're always here to help you. Thank you.